Well, hello there. This is Michael from Make It WordPress, and today we're going to look into server pilots. And so here we are. This is our website of server pilots. And what is server pilots? Well, actually, it's a control panel, a server control panel, um, which you can use to easily deploy applications to your server. So in this panel, you can add your own servers. Um, most likely servers from a virtual private server provider such as DigitalOcean, Filter, or UpCloud. And then you will have an interface in which you easily can manage these servers, add applications, and so forth. Server pilot is especially optimized for WordPress, so it makes an interesting uh, combination. And today we will look into some of the features of Server Pilot and see if it's inter if it's interesting to run WordPress on and if it's performant and actually if it is any good. So what can I say? Um, let's just have a sneak preview in the features of Server Pilot. What they will do for you is provide a control panel in which you can install things. Also have a REST API if you want to build external applications. This is their application stack, some pretty modern things. They will have some firewalls, updates, and isolations in place um, to ensure that your servers and applications are as safe as possible. There are some monitoring possibilities. And uh, of course, there is support um, of WordPress experts. Actually, I already was in contact with support, and they a quite good response. Um, furthermore, they have several pricing plans. There is no free plan, and pricing is based on apps and servers. So you pay per app and also per server. Compared to Ring Cloud and some other panels, they will become especially expensive if you have a lot of apps and servers. And the business and first class. Um, prescriptions have uh, elaborate statistics and elaborate management string sheets. And the Academy um, subscription has basically all features you need to run an app, but um, has not so much stats as the business and first class subscription. So let's go ahead to the panel. There we are. This is the interface of server pilot on the back end and as you can see it's pretty clean and neat and let's connect our first server it's pretty easy to do i already spun up a server on upcloud it's one of my favorite providers next to filter i think filter is my most favorite provider i put also some links in the descriptions below you want a VPS from these providers. Furthermore, I also wrote an article for this video. It's also in the description below. So, well, I added the IP of the server and the password, and now the installation is starting. This will take uh, a couple of minutes. Actually, the server pilot is pretty fast in this installation process. So, let's wait for a moment. Mm -hmm. And there we are. The server is ready to install our apps. So pretty easy. There's one that apps. We hit the create app button. We give it a name. Let's call it WordPress. Because we're using the trial version, we cannot enter a domain, but usually we'll be able to enter a domain here. We will be installing WordPress. Just give it a side title. Password. Our email address. Of course, it's on the server. We'll use new speech paper and create new system user. And there we are. 
Okay, create the app. Work. And there we are. Our app is added, and as you can see, it goes pretty fast. We have now installed WordPress on on our VPS, on our custom VPS, and this WordPress is optimized. So there are a couple of features here, stats, some logs. These are all from more level plans. You can see your databases in here. And change the passwords. You need to use a program such as HiSQL to log into your database. There's no database manager on here. Here you can manage domains. And SSL is possible if you have the basic plan. And there are some additional settings we saw here. Furthermore, if you go back to the app screen, you can see a list of your apps. And if you have a more level plan, you can also see the memory and processor and disk use. Furthermore, we have the server tabs, in which there are also a couple of, um, a couple of stats. We can add new system users, which we can use to log in to our applications, to isolate applications, or some stats and logs for the business plan. Furthermore, some settings of the server. It's pretty, um, pretty valid that these uh, things have ticked on. You can change the plan for a server here, but now we're on a trial mode. And also change the owner so we can change it to a different server file account. Of course, we can delete the server. Furthermore, there's also a tab with account with the basic settings for account, the billing settings. You can change the email, change the password. There's a two factor authentication um, possible. So you can link your device to log in, which will add an, another layer of security. Furthermore, you can have some basic profile settings. They have a referral program. The API can be uh, made available if you're out of the trial period. And of course, you can also delete your account if you want. So let's go back to our app, our WordPress app. Because we are actually using the trial mode, it will be running on the root of our server. So to visit this app, we have to fill in this IP address in our browser. There we go. We have a fresh WordPress installed in Server Pilot. And as you can see, the process is very rapid. It's very easy to install WordPress on your own VPS with Server Pilot. There are a couple of drawbacks, however. Um, what I miss is an option for staging to easily spin up. Um, a development environment to easily clone the existing application. There's also no possibility to backup your WordPress website, and these are two essential features. Um, some other things is that you possibly want to disable the availability of some WordPress website, but still want to develop them. Um, also, some more advanced caching is missing on um, server pilot such as Redis object caching. The performance is actually quite good with the basic caching already. It is some performance tests, which you can also read about in the article. Um, they're actually better performing than Run Cloud, but not as good as Gridpane and SpinApp WP, which are some of their competitors. Um, what I do like is the how uh, clean their interface is. Um, and also I got a quite prompt response of the support. Um, um, furthermore, what I also miss is some good integration with Git or some good integration with an external uh, Git repository, either through the inter user interface or through through the server itself. So that having said, the feature set is pretty basic already. By the way, they do support sending emails out of the server. So you can't have email accounts, but email sent from your WordPress, such as form entries, will send, which is great to have as a basic. There are many parties who don't support that. And uh, that's nice. But in general, um, to use this as a serious WordPress platform, 
um, staging and backer would be a killer feature, and that's it's it's still missing. So this is basically how Serverpilot works. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you want to read more about it, there's an elaborate article. The link is in the description. And make a great day out of it. Thank <laughs> you.